Welcome to the Eye on Annapolis Local Business Spotlight. There are thousands of locally owned businesses in the area, some small and some large. Some you may know and others you don't. But one thing they all have in common is a great story, and we want to share it with you. Join us every Saturday as we talk to the founders, the owners, and the managers of local businesses you have come to know and love, and those you will come to know and love. Now here's your host, John Frenet, with this week's Local Business Spotlight. You know, it's not often that I get over to the town center before it's open, but this is kind of exciting. I'm kind of in the big pink room here at Scout and Molly's, and I am with, uh, I guess, the co-owner, Betsy Abraham. Is Co-owner? Co-owner, yep. Thank you very much for inviting me in to learn a little bit about Scout and Molly's. And you, as the co-owner, you were a yeah, dynamic duo with your mother, I believe, right? That is true, yep. Okay, so so who calls the shots here? She's not here. Uh, I will say it's her. She's <laughs> she's definitely the stylish one, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend to lie about that. Well, that that's great. But, well, I'll tell you, you are, this is your third location for Scout and Molly's, right? It is, yep. You've got one in Reston and one in Mosaic, which is in Fairfax, I believe? Yep, correct, yeah. Then you've got here. So, obviously, you love the concept. Definitely, yes. Well, I'll tell you, it's, uh, Scout and Molly's is a franchise. And what I would say is that I, I want to make sure that everybody understands that a franchise doesn't necessarily mean like this big, huge corporate thing. Um, no. Yeah, because yeah. you guys are locally owned. You live locally. You spend yes. locally, and and everything else. And I I do support a lot of local businesses, and I a lot of people go, oh well, it's a franchise. And I said, yeah, it's a franchise, but that you know, a franchise is essentially just a, a means of advertising. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's how I always look at it. I mean, you're paying to use the Scout and Molly's name and some of the resources that they've had. Right. But, but each of them are locally owned by a individual. So, um, and this franchise is very unique because we get to cater our own clothing. Really? So, yeah. So not every Scout and Molly's is the same. Even within our three, each one is a little different in terms of what merchandise we carry in the store to kind of match the vibe of the city it's in. You know, that's great. I yeah. mean, as far as without having to have the, the the corporate overlords or something like that that are... Yeah, definitely. They're there for... They, they can help us advise us and show us brands and help us figure out what's working within each store. But they as a franchise have kind of grown with us too because we got on the ground level of them and kind of understand that each area is different. So you got to cater to the area you're in, which well, makes them more unique. Yeah, you know, sort of a funny story, but way off topic. But when the Bowie Town Center was built, um, they had a Macy's had come in and they were the high, the high end department store that was there. And they brought in a bunch of high end stuff because that's what they figured it was. It was a fairly affluent area and everything else. But what happened is that there was another mall in Prince George's County that had closed down at about the same time. Uh, and that crowd needed to find a new place to shop and they came up and they just realized that there was just a totally distinctive cutoff between, you know, the high end fashion that they thought mm -hmm. the market play or the uh, town center was going to hold versus what ultimately it was. So they ended up turning around and shipping a lot of their stock down into Northern Virginia or up to Towson and replenishing it with what was more fitting here. I know in Annapolis yeah. with um, you know, strangely enough that Brooks Brothers used to be here at the town center and they closed and it was the worst performing store in the chain. <laughs> uh, again, that is probably because Annapolis is a very casual town. It is. It's, and it's not that people don't want to spend on clothes. They just will spend more on casual clothes and don't need those business suits that Brooks Brothers has. Exactly. I've got a friend of mine that works across the street that's a, you know, is a broker and he says, this is, hor this is a horrible town. I can't even find a place to get a pair of good shoes anymore <laughs> because Nordstrom's out and, right, right. and Brooks Brothers is gone or everything else. Well, how do you and your mom split up your duties here? Um, or don't you? So we do um, sort of. We kind of help cater to a wide range based off of, you know, our age group and that's kind of what we want to do. Um, but she helps with a lot of the business side, financial side, and I do a lot of the operations within each store. So, yeah, I do a lot of the computer work, too, the technology side. Ah, uh, yeah, those <laughs> par parents, they don't understand any of, that, <laughs> any of that. Well, you mentioned age, and I got to imagine that you being younger and your mother, and I don't want to say being older, but I mean, you know, is, is of a different generation. Yes. Um, yeah. Probably really works out well for a boutique clothing outfit. I mean, because you've got, you know, what appeals to her 
Right. May I mean there's crossover, of course, but may not necessarily be what appeals to the younger generation. Yes, definitely. Um, which has helped this area. I think this is a unique area here because I feel like a lot of people tend to be more trendy and um, it helps because we service a range of people. We will have a grandmother, daughter, granddaughter all come in, all be able to find something. So I think our age difference does help cater that kind of grouping of clothes you're like the grateful dead of the uh, boutique yeah, world <laughs> you know where you can see multiple generations yeah. coming coming and having a good time that's the goal yep <laughs> that's awesome well you guys are kind of like the only i, I would say the only game in town but i mean you guys are very unique to what the town center has to offer i mean you are a true boutique clothing uh, right. for women uh you know you're not going to find your stuff in target Exactly. Yes. Uh, and you know, Target's not going to find you know you know you're, you're not going to find Target stuff here in your shelves either as well. Right. So you've got a really unique proposition here. I mean, it's a wonderful location. You are uh, right next door to Baltimore Coffee and Tea, across yes. from the Paper Source, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, also one of my favorite stores. Uh, but you've got plenty of free parking, and I mean, there's a lot of you know positives certainly to go here. But what is unique about the Scout and Molly's experience when I come shopping here? Well, we like to think of it as somebody coming in to shop in their best friend's closet. So we pride ourselves on our customer service and our styling. And, you know, we like to think of it as a one-stop shop. So somebody who comes in here, we can fit their whole outfits. Like we can find them casual outfits. We can find them something they need to wear for business. We can get a black tie. You know, we can fit multiple seasons. And all of our employees here are really stylists at heart and can help, you know, understand what a customer needs. And they can, you know, spend hours doing a styling session to fit what vibes work for them what outfits are best for them and I feel like that's something you don't get a lot nowadays it's a lot of online shopping it's a lot of you know big box stores that don't take the time to understand individuals we're the place that people can keep coming back to because we understand our customers and know them at a personal level and understand what they need so I know I know my girlfriend always squawks about when you go into a store today and everyone's Forcing this online, yes. uh, and, and you've got to have an online presence. We we all know that, but uh, it's you know there's very little opportunities to touch, feel, and try on. Exactly, which is such a big part of it. You know, materials are a thing nowadays. When everybody wants things that are comfortable, we can do stylish and comfy. They're not mutually exclusive. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's interesting that you can said you can do everything from uh, I don't want to say beachwear, meaning bathing suits or anything like that. But I mean, you know, some very casual. Hey, I'm I'm hanging out at a beach bar. Yeah, like all the way up to a wedding. And yeah, resort yeah. wear. Yeah, okay. There's a, there's a, there's, a, there's a retail term for me. <laughs> You know, Annapolis, as I, as I said, is you know we don't have the the formality of that, mm-hmm. and I'm just kind of curious, but. You know, you go, you go into New York, okay, and it's like, oh, I've got the Louboutin shoes, maybe, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, the Gucci and the, the Louis Vuitton and, right. you know, Tom Ford. and all, You know, all, all of these brand names are big in the, uh, you know, in certain markets. I mean, is that something that you find here? Because, I mean, you, you've said you're in Reston and Fairfax and Annapolis, and, I mean, they're obviously all very different markets. Yes. Yeah, definitely. But, so, Annapolis, I would say... Um, at least for our store, of course, everybody will have their designer accessories and a few statement pieces. But we care while we do carry a few big name brands like French Connection or Joseph Ripkoff, we also carry a lot of brands that you won't see anywhere else. So if you buy something from our store and we also carry only like four items of one thing, we're not going to carry a huge slew of it so that everybody can walk away with the same dress. So if you buy something from here, it's going to be very unique and specialized to you. It's not going to be, you know, those same Prada sunglasses that everybody has. So I think in that sense, it's very unique. And I think the ladies of Annapolis definitely value that over a lot of big name brands. I, I think it's funny that, <laughs> that that women tend to be a little bit more concerned when their dresses look very similar or their outfits look very similar yes. to somebody else at an event. And yeah. uh, have you have you seen the YouTube video where the wives set up the husbands all to wear the same shirts? 
Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, it was hysterical. They all wore like some Waldo shirt, you know. They, and so the one couple gets to this table. They're having like a big neighborhood gathering or something like that. And then the second couple comes and the guy's got the same shirt on. And it's like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then the third guy comes. And then by the time like the, the sixth couple comes, they're like rolling. And, and the guys don't care. <laughs> but mm-hmm. but certainly I've been to so many. They're like, oh, my gosh, she's got the same one. So that's, that's you know, great that you limit your inventory. Yes. And yeah. That's probably a financial thing too as well. I mean, you don't right. want to be we stuck with... we can't carry huge stock. Um, but it also helps with our... We, we like to say our boutiqueness. You know, we don't want everybody to be able to buy the same dress. Part of what we are selling is the uniqueness, both of the experience and the outfit you're going to walk away with. Well, I also think with a boutique, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but part of the appeal to it is that uh, it's constantly rotating. Uh, and, and I mean, okay, we've got seasons. Okay, I can go to, you know, I can go to Target and get... I don't know whether I can get bathing suits now or not, but you know, you, know you, can, you can go to Target and you know that, you know, in the spring you can get bathing suits in the fall, you can get winter jackets and everything else. Yes. I mean, that's, that's a given, but you know, my, my girlfriend here had purchased a pair of pants or actually I had purchased them for him on the recommendation of your mother. Again, the one-on-one type of a sales thing. And she said, Oh, these are the most comfortable things. They're great. They're you know fancy enough to go out and uh, casual enough to sit around on the couch watching TV. She loved them, came back and, they were gone. Uh, <laughs> right. you know, and not to say they couldn't be gotten again, but it was, uh, you right. know, but that was something nice because when you come in each time. We like to have a different, we get new clothing items every single day, if not every week. And we like to continuously rotate, especially as you can see, because you're here, it, we have a little small hole in the wall shop. So the idea that we can offer so many different options and that every time you come in, you're going to see Yes, you'll see sweaters, but they will always be different, you know, and that's something we like to offer to people. Yeah. So that's why you need to come here every single day. Exactly. (laughs) And we have customers who come in and check every single week because we are in this town center where we have a lot of residents and every single day something's different. So they're they're just coming. I mean, I'm going to assume that they're not buying every single day. No, no, no. I mean, they come in and look and say, oh, oh that's cute. No. Or, oh, that's yeah. neat. I think, I, you know, and then they may purchase something three weeks down the line. Exactly. They know that we're a place that they can come to and they know they'll be able to find something and that we can help fit them into something that the, that will be flattering for their body type, that they'll get honest opinions. And it seems like that's so easy, but it's something very hard to find nowadays. So if somebody comes and says, hey, does my butt look big in these jeans? You're going to tell them the truth? Yes. <laughs> much Definitely. braver, person than, a, a much braver yeah. person than I would be. Very nicely, but yes. <laughs> we won't let them walk out with it. That, 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 that's funny. <laughs> well, you know, I tell you, it's got to be very stressful to guess. And that's essentially what buying you know, soft goods is. Yes. What the trends are going to be, what people are going to like, what's going to resonate. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I jokingly look at the, like the Super Bowl shirts when they, they print up the whole ones for the team that lost. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you, you know, it's it's got to be tough when you, I mean, do you ever get like a dog that's just like, wow, I missed the mark on that? Oh, definitely. And that's always going to happen. But we're lucky. It, it takes a while. And luckily, this store has been open now for um, two years come this October. Okay. So by knowing our, it, it takes a lot of trial and error to kind of see. But um, we pay a little bit of attention to trends. That's always going to be a thing. And that's pretty easy. When we go to market, you'll see the same trends everywhere. And that's something where our corporate franchise helps. And we talk to all the other corporate franchise owners and discuss, you know, what do we all see? But you know, a trend that we know is going to be really popular in Florida may not be popular up here. Different weather, you know, down in Florida, they'll never have to wear the big heavy coats we do here. So sure. the trends that will be The there, sweaters are light down there. Yeah, and, exactly. It's, it's always going to be a little different. So that's why it's really important for us to see what customers we get, what they tend to like, you know. If they're all buying, if they need heavier sweaters, because that's what sells a lot in Annapolis, because a lot of people are going on their boats, we need to make sure that the trends we do buy into accommodate the needs that are here. And the lifestyle. That makes yeah, sense. exactly. And do you do you work with your other, I mean, I'm, I'm you obviously own two other stores, but I mean, if 
you know, as far as swapping inventory or something like yes, that? I mean, do, do you sit there and say, Definitely. okay, no, we don't have anything here in Annapolis, but you know what? I think I've got something in Reston that yes. is probably, you know, come back tomorrow and we'll... Oh, all the time. This store is a little further away because the other two stores are in Virginia, but between my mom and I, we can pretty much within a couple days get things to and from stores. And our three stores work very well together trying to find, you know, not... Everything we carry here is at the other two stores, but it doesn't hurt to always check. And then if something is selling out here, we can now we've got the flexibility because we do have our little three right. stores. We can move things to and from stores. Now, now Reston yeah. was your first one, right? It was, yeah. Okay, that explains your website, which is reston.scoutandmollies.com. Yes. And that is actually the website for um, all three all stores. three, yep. And you can buy online. You can, yes. Clothing doesn't work that way. Um, yeah, you know, I, I find. I mean, generally, uh, I mean, if I've got a pair of sneakers that I like, yes. I mean, you might call them tennis shoes. I have that argument with people all the time, but it's yeah. uh, depending on where you're from, you know. And I, and I like that brand. And I know my size. That that's one thing. If it's a commodity, if I need to buy a bottle of Purell hands, you know, that, you know that's, what it uh, is, that, that's but... something. But something that I'm going to be wearing that I'm going to be, you know, I'm I'm concerned about appearance or mm-hmm. something like that. I really want to have, uh, have, have somebody say, yes, your butt does look big in that yeah. <laughs> or however that works out. So, but you can shop at, you can shop at um, rustin.scoutmollies.com, but you also can always call our store, um, any of our locations actually, and talk to a live person. A lot of the people that do buy on no, our website. Real live, real live person? I know, right? On the phone, Shocking. they pick up. <laughs> But um, a lot of our customers that do buy on our website will call us or talk to one of us who knows them and can tell them whether or not something works, you know. And if I do see a customer who I've had people who have like shopped something on the website, I'll be like, you know, I know you think this is going to work for you, but it's really not. Come in and, and a lot of people are local, so they'll come in anyways with whatever they bought online and be like, yeah, this didn't really work. And we leave them with twice as many outfits, that Interesting. Do you, yeah. do you maintain like profiles on clients to, to we, a we know the history of everything they've bought, but um, a lot of it is just memory because we have such great employees and staff that will remember how things fit on certain customers, you know, and that's what they keep coming back for. Well, that's probably the nice part about being a small boutique. Local, in that, yeah. Where, you know, a, a part of the community where you can turn around and come I, I can roll in here in January and say oh my god how did that how did, how did that I wouldn't wear a dress but you know how, how did that dress work out on Christmas yeah. I remember you bought a special one for the Christmas thing yeah exactly um, and neat. the I will say the customers around here in Annapolis are so nice and so loving just as much you know we get as much benefit from them as they do from us well you are you are pretty unique when it you know, comes to the town center. And I mean, you, you've been, like I said, you've been here for several years. Almost two years, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, you know, that that's no that's no small feat. And, you know, as we come out of a, of a crazy time right. <laughs> in, in all of our lives. <laughs> and the town center is great for walking. Definitely. Um, you know, you've got plenty of free parking in the, I think there's three garages. Uh, yeah. There might be even be four. Um, but, you know, you've got plenty of free parking. Uh, you get lucky, you can get parked right out in the, on, the, on the boulevard there, but they're getting ready to open up a performance venue uh, at the end. And there's yeah, a couple of new exciting <laughs> tenants that are coming in and uh, it's really undergoing. It seems so weird because it seems the town center to me is just so new. It's like it just opened, right. but it's really been like 12 years. I know, <laughs> um, I know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so they are reinventing it and reinvigorating it and stuff like that. And it's really, really kind of exciting time to see. Right. Well, as with everything that went through the pandemic, you know, everything's kind of getting a second life. And I think that's what this town center is getting right now. Well, oh, absolutely. Any ideas for expansions? Are you guys uh, happy with three or are you looking to? We're uh, pretty happy right now with three. We just bought the third one in um, April. So it's still fairly new. Okay. The one in Mosaic. So... Now, was, that right ex- now. was that an existing one? <laughs> it was an existing. Or, um, another franchise owner owned it, um, and she wanted to sell it, so we did buy it. Okay. I didn't know whether it was just some another store that you bought and brought it into the Scout and Molly's. No, it was an existing franchise, yeah. Very cool. Well, again, right next to the Baltimore Coffee and Tea in the heart of the town center. Yeah. Um, if the lights are on, it'll be a pink glow coming out of the, uh, yes. the, front, the front window. <laughs> Uh, again, plenty of uh, free parking there, and um, you know it's uh, it's, it's just going to be great. I got a real question for you, but Scout sounds like a dog. Am I right? 
It is, yes. <laughs> Molly sounds like the person that owns the dog, am I right? No. <laughs> They're both dogs. Way to shoot me down. <laughs> Who I'm names talking. her dog Molly? I The woman who started this franchise, the founder, um, she had two labs. One Ooh, was Scout. I was going, I was I, I've got it written down. Black Lab? A Black Lab and then a White Lab. Was Scout a Black Lab? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Scout go with it. Black <laughs> sure. <laughs> but if people look in our window, there is a painting of the two dogs. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So they're both dogs. I would have gone with Molly being the owner of the Black Lab Scout. But that's a that's my that's my predisposed uh, <laughs> thing. And again, you you appeal to multi generations mm -hmm. for multi use. I don't want to say use is not the right word, but for multi events or times yes. of of period and predominantly, I'd say exclusively for women. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking looking around. I'm not not seeing too many ties or no. anything like like that. <laughs> And, I, you know, I do recommend it from a personal point of view. Uh, again, you know, the times that my girlfriend has shopped here, I mean, she's loved the quality, loved the service. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we can't find those pants again. And that's fine, but she still loves them. They're <laughs> not quite threadbare yet. We may yet, get the same brand, just a different type of pant. But, it's, uh, <laughs> but yes. And, and I love the idea. I wish there was more stuff for guys that would change quickly i mean there's very, very there's not very many male boutiques yeah yeah I, I imagine in probably la they probably got them in yeah. new, new york oh, and stuff like that but you love la did you say that no no i said uh, definitely oh, okay in LA. Yeah, okay yeah. i was gonna say oh my gosh no we, we obviously can't get along then if you <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's funny I, I move i go over the um the, the mississippi river and i, I joking you say start to break out in hives oh my I, gosh really <laughs> I, I don't really but I, I i just don't like the west coast <laughs> There's like two or three towns that I do like, but other than that, it's uh, you can keep it. This has been great. And, you know, congratulations on almost two years. And I do recommend Thank everybody you. come here and check it out. Uh, you know, whether it be weekly or, or just next time you're at the town center and there's plenty of reasons to come to the town center uh, throughout your your week or your month. Yeah. But pop in and see what's here because it's going to be different than it was last week and it's going to be different than what it's going to be next week. Yes, definitely. And Coming into holiday season, definitely. Yeah. Do you have what, do you have any tips on what's what's going to be hot? I mean, summer is waning as we're speaking. Um, it is. What's, it's, and, it's a mixed bag. They're going to have to come in and see. <laughs> oh, what a tease. What a tease. That's awesome. <laughs> well, you want to definitely come in and look for Betsy or her mother and you want to check out what they've got. I mean, they've got racks. They've got I mean, for such a little store, there is so much jammed in here. I mean, I you've know. got, we you've got we're an a, awful We're line. truly a closet. <laughs> it's, it, you know, you're shopping got, in our in your best friend's closet. It's I mean, from from jewelry to uh, what are these foam gummy bear gummy bear foamy Baking gummy bears. gummy bears. <laughs> what is that? Is that like a bath bomb? No, they're they're gummy bears. Oh, okay. They're just vegan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> to, I mean, to lollipops, to uh, you know, to clothing and purses, and uh, you don't have shoes, do you? We don't. No. No. <laughs> That's fine. Tried. They, they just take a huge amount of space to store. So in this tiny little store, and we I can't. imagine I imagine shoes are probably a lot more difficult to figure as far as styles go. They uh, are. To, yes. to hit that there. So, <laughs> where'd you get your background in in retail? I. Graduated college not having any. Um, I graduated from Georgetown, and we actually bought the franchise. So then I my background after that was I worked at Nordstrom for a while. Okay. Yeah, and learned a little bit, and I did lots of different departments. They were really accommodating, knew what I was going into, and let me work in lots of different, you know, areas. Nordstrom is a great organization they great i learned everything i know about customer service inventory processing all of it betsy thank you so much everybody reston.scoutandmollies.com yes uh but better yet you want to come to the annapolis town center it's at 1910 town center boulevard yeah and uh when you're done go get a cup of coffee or tea at yeah. baltimore coffee and tea right <laughs> next door definitely come and check it out it's got some great stuff here and um when we're wrapping up i'm going to take a look around see if there's something i can do to that i might get me out of the doghouse at some point <laughs> in time so thank well, you guys so much you. thank you thanks for listening to this week's local business spotlight please make sure to visit ionanapolis.net for all your local news events and opinion 
And in case you haven't already, please subscribe to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, where we bring you all the day's local news direct to your phone, tablet, or computer in about 10 minutes. It comes to you at 6 a.m. every Monday through Friday, and you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.